since the space shuttle's retirement in 2011. NASA has been finding new homes for its three crew compartment trainers. The trainers, or CCTs, were built to prepare astronauts for spaceflight. And now one of them is heading to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. But how do you get a space shuttle trainer, nearly 25 feet high and 20 feet long, from Houston, Texas to Dayton, Ohio? By truck? By train? Nope, by Super Guppy. They didn't have a name for it at the beginning, and somebody looked at it along the way and said, it, wow, it looks like a pregnant guppy. When they uh, moved on to a newer version with better engines and things like that, they said, well, this is the Super Guppy, and so it, it's, the name has stuck ever since. Only five Super Guppies were built, and NASA's is the only one still operational. Its hinged nose can open more than 200 degrees, and the cargo compartment is 25 feet tall, 25 feet wide, and 111 feet long. The perfect size to transport a crew compartment trainer from Houston to the National Museum of the United States Air Force. I always say one of the best things about going to space is coming back and sharing the experience with other people. Well, people by being able to see this crew compartment trainer in Dayton, they're gonna be able to experience what we experienced in training and by extension in space. The Super Guppy is scheduled to land at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, August 22nd, weather permitting. Visitors can view the landing from the museum grounds and should enter through the main museum entrance off of Springfield Street. It's really fun to watch it come in and land. Uh, you know, it just doesn't look like it should be flying, so uh, it's going to be a unique opportunity for, for the Dayton community. Reporting for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Public Affairs in Houston, Texas, I'm Matthew Klaus.